We've recently had highs with a stretch of 100s, the dry weather, and now the lightning. We have seen a bit of wetting rain. You can see the movement of this coming from the south up to the north here. A little closer perspective, you can see along I-5 right around the Stockton area traveling just off to the west of Galt and Elk Grove, although uh, we are getting some showers starting to move into the Elk Grove area. This will all continue to push its way north and east around the Caldor fire perimeter. You can see some lightning strikes there as well. This has been a tough firefight right along Highway 88, and with the gusty winds coming out of those thunderstorms tonight's going to be a very active night potentially if not a lot of wetting rain helps to dampen some of those hot spots that they've been trying to put down as far as the dixie fire you can see we're getting some light showers right now not a whole lot of lightning strikes up there but again the gusty winds will be of concern especially through tomorrow afternoon in terms of total rainfall picking up less than a tenth of an inch in fact most of us just getting about one one hundredth of an inch of rain we're not completely done yet but again it's going to take some time for that atmosphere to completely get moist so that the rain can actually reach the ground. We've had highs in the 100s for the past couple of days. Today we reached a high of 97 for Sacramento, but still in the 100s for Marysville, Oroville, Stockton, and Modesto. Mid to upper 90s for Auburn, Placerville, and Jackson. 80s up top for the Sierra. Over the past days, uh, we had a record high yesterday, 105 degrees, well above our average of 90. Started off that stretch of 100s on Sunday, so that really continues to dry out all of the fuel, the grasses, the trees, the brush, and so when the rain finally hits it. It takes some time to get it back to normal conditions. Gilmore backyard right now we have light showers on and off 70 in Sacramento 77 for Stockton Modesto were at 81 78 for Marysville and 57 with some light showers for Tahoe as well. Winds not too much of a problem tonight. They're still fairly light at about 5 to 15 miles per hour a little stronger towards Fairfield. But once we get into some of the outflow of those thunderstorms, that's when things can get very gusty erratic and those red flag conditions really get amplified especially for tomorrow afternoon. Looking at our timeline here at midnight, still looking at the opportunity for some light showers coming through the valley. We've seen periods of real quick heavy downpours and then everything clears out. It takes a lot to get some accumulation. So you can see most of these numbers still sitting at zero even into early tomorrow morning when we expect some more thunderstorms to pop up throughout the valley. That will continue to move its way north and the east and you can see affecting parts of the Dixie Fire as well. So this story just kind of getting going for tonight and it will continue through tomorrow as well. Highs will drop to the 70s tomorrow for the Sierra, 80s for the foothills. We have that chance of thunderstorms tomorrow. Things dry out and calm down quite a bit for the weekend, and I'm sure a lot of us will be welcoming that. 60s along the coast, we get highs in the 80s to right around 90 tomorrow afternoon. Once we get through the morning showers and thunderstorms, skies will start to clear and will warm back into the 90s for the weekend. But Chris, it was nice to see some of the rain, but unfortunately it comes at the expense of that fire danger.